Do you know how hard the placenta works during pregnancy? As soon as the baby indicates hunger, the placenta immediately takes them to the mother's bloodstream, searching for food in the flowing blood. Like an experienced and meticulous nutritionist, it selects healthy and suitable foods, filtering out the junk food. The placenta, seemingly annoyed by this ruthless act of nutrient plundering, asks if it can leave some nutrients for the mother. However, the placenta simply presents a contract, claiming its responsibility is only to take care of the baby. Providing nutrition to the mother is the father's job. The placenta, feeling helpless, can only turn away dejectedly. The placenta then absorbs all these nutrients, filters them further, and continuously delivers them to the baby through the umbilical cord. Whenever the fetus is full and wants to excrete, the placenta cleverly collects the urine and pours it all into the mother's bloodstream. Although the fetus's excretion is resolved, it puts a considerable burden on the mother's kidneys. It is said that if you see this person with just a dog's head, you will be blessed with peace, joy, and smooth sailing in the future. However, the placenta's work goes far beyond that. One day, a group of uninvited guests suddenly arrived, attempting to invade the fetus's body under the guise of visiting the child. The placenta immediately recognized them as malicious viruses and bacteria, exposing their disguise and warning them to leave immediately, or else it would summon the mother's immune cells to wipe them out. The robust viruses and bacteria, somewhat fearful, could only retreat in a disheveled state. The placenta returned, intending to comfort the baby, when suddenly the uterus began to shake violently. The placenta instantly realized that it was time to separate from the baby, and the mother was about to be separated as well. So it instructed the baby to cry loudly after leaving, indicating that it could breathe on its own. Then it adjusted the baby's head and stomach position to facilitate separation. The fetus wanted the placenta to give it some more food, but the placenta resolutely refused, stating that its contract had expired and that it would need to absorb nutrients from the outside world on its own from now on. The burden of caring for it would fall on the parents. As soon as it finished speaking, the little one burst out of the mother's body with the help of a powerful energy, and what awaited it was a strange and wonderful new world.